Between March and August 1995, over 150 goats were found dead in the Puerto Rican town of Canavonas. They were all killed in exactly the same way, and the creature responsible became known as El Chupacabras, the goat sucker. For the town's head of civil defense, the vampire-like beast has become his top priority. When the goat sucker attacks, in every case I've investigated, it leaves perfect incisions, two round marks in the neck. It sucks out the blood and liver of every single animal. By December 1995, not only had the killing spread throughout Puerto Rico, but the goat sucker had started to vary its diet. Over the next 10 months, thousands of birds, sheep and cattle were mysteriously killed. On the day Fortian TV arrived in Puerto Rico, Ismael Aponte was investigating an attack at a chicken farm. At about 8.30, I heard something rattling the cages like this. And I heard a screeching noise like this. How many were killed? Five. They've all got the same wounds. And look here, the vein is completely sucked dry of blood. Another thing I have noticed is it's very limp, and normally after I kill a chicken, the neck is as hard as a rock. But look at this one, it's completely soft. As the killing continues, panic has spread, and experts have been brought in to try and determine what is responsible for the telltale wounds. This type of tooth bite is much deeper than we're normally used to seeing. There is no known animal that can do this. We are just going to have to continue investigating to try and discover exactly what kind of creature is doing this. Examinations of animal corpses have proved fruitless. The only other evidence has been three clawed footprints at many of the murder scenes. People in the village are hysterical. They are very scared and they won't go out in the street at night. They are terrified that the animal we call the chupacabras will attack them. With a panic-stricken population, the army has been called in to search for this elusive creature. And as the hunt intensifies, sightings have become more frequent. We went outside and the chupacabras was on some scaffolding and it was crouched as if it was going to attack. Then it jumped off and, and flew away. It had huge wings and everything, you know? From eyewitnesses, Ismael Aponte has put together an impression of the goat sucker. It's described as looking like a kangaroo, but really, it's nothing of the sort. It has a snout of a pig and huge slit eyes, big pointy ears, and has feet like a kangaroo. But it's fast and strong in a way that kangaroo isn't. Some witnesses describe the goat sucker as standing on two feet, and Ismail has his own theories about its origins. My own opinion is that this was a genetic experiment involving various animals, and this was the outcome. It's a theory that many Puerto Ricans believe, that an animal has escaped from genetic experiments carried out in an American military base on the island. But there are other possibilities. People have suggested it could be from another world, because in this town there have been many sightings of flying saucers. But if the goat sucker is an alien, it has started to explore planet Earth. From Puerto Rico to America, Brazil, Spain, and Mexico. All have experienced panics caused by the sudden appearance of animals killed in an identical manner. And the reaction everywhere has been exactly the same. The goat sucker has been turned into a cult icon. The deaths, however, continue, and the chupacabras is still at large. But for Ismail, whether it's an alien or a genetic experiment is no longer the issue. After so long hunting the goat sucker, so many sleepless nights, so many headaches, so much fatigue, if I meet up with it, either he'll get me or I'll get him. This is between the two of us. He might get me, but I won't run away when I get my hands on him.